What's up guys, how's it going? My name is Mike the Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to do multiplayer in Unreal Engine. Split screen multiplayer to be exact. Uh, let's go ahead and open up Unreal Engine. I have 4.21 installed. This should work for most versions. It's a very, very easy one this time, guys. So I wanted to learn how to do multiplayer because... Online multiplayer is a little daunting. It's a lot to deal with. It's a lot to like having to replicate every single thing that happens um, across the clients and the server. It's it's a lot to think about when you're just developing a game. So it's a little bit more fun to prototype with local multiplayer. It's more. Um, uh, it just kind of makes more sense, right? Because you're not going to want to develop the entire back end of your multiplayer game from the beginning. Um, so what I learned how to do essentially is um, set up local multiplayer using split screen which you can do vertically or horizontally and um, excuse me and create as many players as needed so let's go ahead and make a new project and I'm just going to choose the third person project uh, we'll choose scalable with starter content and we're just going to call this uh, multiplayer example all right so we'll create that project and it'll open up in our editor So now we have this game. We can play it and run around with our controller, with our keyboard and mouse, I mean. And this also works with uh, an Xbox One gamepad or a PC gamepad. Uh, so what we want to do is essentially make another player start, which is like, here's a player start right here. Um, that's the network player start. So we just want to drag player start uh, right over here. And then what we're going to do is go into our blueprints and choose open level blueprint. And we want to create a second player as soon as the game starts. So we're going to create a new event called begin play. So go to event begin play. And we're going to drag off of this pin and place a new node and call it create player. Now, by default, it's at negative one, um, which will mean whatever number player it is right now, it'll add to the next one. So if there's already two players, it'll add a third player, which is great for um, when you're at a character select screen and you want to add new players. For this one, we just want to add a second player. So um, we're going to use control ID one because the first um, ID for player one is actually zero. So our main player is zero, and then this one's one and we'll hit compile and if we hit play we already have a second player here and it's already split screen which is really cool we can't control the second player just yet um, unless we connect a gamepad which I'm going to do shortly but first there's a few options we can do so we're actually let's go ahead and connect that gamepad now so I have um, this gamepad right here and it has Mike the Tech on it and it is basically just an Xbox One controller so I'm going to turn this on and I believe it's already connected let me double check this uh, yes yeah, so when I move around on this control pad it is controlling player one unfortunately when I move the mouse and keyboard it's also controlling player one so we actually need to um, adjust a few more things before this works properly. So um, let's go ahead and go to our settings and go to project settings. Now, if we want the first player to work with a um, gamepad and then the second player to work with another gamepad, everything is correct as is right now. 
But if we want the first player to play on keyboard and then the second player to play on a gamepad, which is what I want to do right now, this is how you do it. So let's type in gamepad and you'll see local multiplayer skip assigning gamepad to player one. And if we do this and close this out, then with our mouse and keyboard, we can move this player. And with our controller, we can move this player. So it's really interesting how you can have uh, or make use of quite a few game pads. You could have the four game pads as well as a um, controller or a keyboard and mouse if you wanted to, or a combination thereof. So that's cool. But let's say I don't want a really wide screen like this. You can't really see the top of the character or anything like that. Maybe I want it um, horizontal. So again, we're going to go to settings and we're going to go to project settings. And we're going to type in split screen. And you will see um, use split screen. You'll see horizontal or vertical. So we're going to switch this to vertical. And you'll also see options for um, three player and four players split, split screen which you would do just by adding more player start nodes and adding uh, another create player for um, players two and three because again players one and two are actually ID'd zero and one so it's zero one two three for the four players um, so we have three player split screen which we can actually choose to have all three vertical which is kind of crazy or we can favor the top or the bottom and then four player can be a grid or vertical as well. So we're going to leave that as grid. So this is perfect for what we need. Uh, let's go ahead and close this now that we change this to be vertical. And hit play again. And now you'll see that we have two basically half screens. And they're a lot easier to maneuver and play with. Uh, so yeah, this has been my tutorial on uh, local multiplayer in Unreal Engine. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Alright, thank you very much. Have a great day. Peace.